Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com, on Roku, in the sports section, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. On iTunes, one word, Dwyer Boxing News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. You know, just because someone is in the public limelight doesn't mean that they understand their image. It doesn't even mean that they fully appreciate what it means to be in the public limelight or understand how they are being received by the rest of the public. Right? Robin Williams, a personal hero of mine, recently killed himself. Right? I'm not sure if Robin Williams fully understood how appreciated he was by the public. Right? Um, according to reports, Robin Williams was really hard on himself. Right? He uh, questioned some of the box office receipts for some of his movies, and he didn't seem to realize how loved he was. He had no idea. Now let's segue to Floyd Mayweather. Let me say this. I've been tracking this Chantel Jackson lawsuit against Floyd Mayweather. And I'm absolutely dumbfounded by Floyd Mayweather's response. You know, I'm not on Twitter that often. By chance, I happened to be on Twitter when Floyd released a photo of his ex-girlfriend's ultrasound. Right? And Floyd then disclosed to the world that his ex-girlfriend had had an abortion. Right now, let me just say, at the time I cringed, I couldn't believe anyone in the public light would even remotely think that this was acceptable behavior. Right? It was shocking to me on a level far beyond boxing. Right? Understand, I value my privacy. I couldn't imagine being in Chantel Jackson's position, right? This issue is much bigger than Floyd Mayweather's image or whatever Floyd Mayweather thinks he has going on. It was a dumb move by Floyd Mayweather. I knew at the moment I saw the ultrasound that Floyd had left himself open to get sued. Well, the lawsuit came. Understand, Chantel Jackson is well represented by Gloria Allred. Right? I encourage you to look up Gloria Allred's professional history. She has been involved in some very high-profile cases, and she's been very successful. Understand, too, even though the federal constitution doesn't specifically have a right to privacy, Right, and I know law students are looking up Griswold versus Connecticut as I make that statement. Understand that many state constitutions do. Right, if you're a resident of the state of California, understand you have a constitutional right to privacy. Let's remember, this is the United States. It's not just the federal constitution that matters, it's also your state constitution. Right, it's my understanding Chantel Jackson is a resident of the state of California. She has a right to privacy. Now, incredibly, Floyd has filed a motion to dismiss. It's incredible because it's so knuckleheaded. It's so ill-advised. He makes the argument that Chantel Jackson apparently wanted to be a star. Came to him, right? Had only appeared in some music videos, according to reports, right? And, you know, wanted stardom. So, of course, Floyd believes that he made her into a public figure and that it's fair for him to disclose the reason why the two of them broke up. Now, let me say this. <laughs> you know, it's important for every celebrity, every celebrity, to have people with common sense around them. Right? If you have a lot of yes men around you, you need some no men in the room. Right? I'm not a celebrity. One of the things I love the most 
about my life is the fact that friends at times will come up to me and say, Rich, you're full of you know what. Right now, look at the friend and I'll realize they have my back. They have my best interests at heart. Right? Maybe at that moment I am full of you know what. Well, Floyd Mayweather needs to look around his inner circle because he doesn't have enough no man. His arguments are, in my opinion, foolish. Right? Just imagine if, let's say, the agent for Angelina Jolie or Brad Pitt suddenly decided to randomly release their medical records. Right? Why? Because they came to the agent and wanted to be famous. Why? Because they're public figures. That argument doesn't work. That argument is foolish. I'm surprised that a motion to dismiss that claim was even filed. I'm surprised that after it's filed, people are actually making it public. You've got to be kidding me. That argument is a loser. Right? Understand, someone in the room needs to take Floyd aside, whatever said publicly. They need to take Floyd aside and tell him, dude, you messed up. Right? You violated your ex's rights. It's never acceptable to release a woman's ultrasound without her consent. I don't care whether Chantel Jackson wanted to be a celebrity or whatever. You didn't have her consent. The idea that because you're a celebrity or, you know, gee, she was your ex-girlfriend and you're a celebrity doesn't give you the authorization to release her private medical records. That's just ridiculous. Right? Chantel Jackson is an adult woman. She has a right to keep her records private. Right? Her doctor certainly doesn't have the right to decide on his own to release her records to the public, nor does Floyd Mayweather. So let's hope that after Floyd loses that portion of the motion to dismiss, and I have little doubt that he's going to lose that portion, and I encourage viewers here online to track that story. After he loses that portion of his motion to dismiss, let's hope he gets real and not only changes his attitude towards such things, but also looks hard at the people around him who convinced him to go down this route and makes changes to his inner circle. Because this is simply ridiculous. It's completely pathetic. Right? Just imagine any celebrity crazy enough to make the argument that because you went out with them or got pregnant with their child that they have a right to publicly disclose your ultrasound or your decision to terminate the pregnancy. It's awful, right? I think Floyd needs to do some self-examination. He's a brilliant boxer. No question about it. I admire Floyd in the ring. No question about it. But I don't admire this. I thought the Twitter release of this information was pathetic. I believe this motion to dismiss the claim is even worse. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. And let me say this too, and I don't say it lightly. I understand that many fighters come from broken homes. Right? I understand that Floyd, when he was growing up, there's a moment there where Floyd Sr. was in prison. I understand that a lot of these guys haven't really had an opportunity to be around a healthy, you know, environment and don't really have, you know, orthodox role models. Right? But let me say to each fighter, right, whether you're from a broken home or not, Right? You really need to make sure that you have people around you who 
you understand might see the world differently than you and who will give you their honest opinion. I was a bit disappointed when 50 Cent and Floyd couldn't work things out. Because I know 50's his own man. He's not hanging around Mayweather for Mayweather's limelight, right? 50 has his own spotlight, right? I was a bit disappointed when they broke up. I understand they had differences of opinion because I felt at least 50 would be someone in the room who's not on the Mayweather payroll who could literally give him unvarnished advice. Floyd, you need people like that around you right you need to ask some very hard questions after you lose this portion of your motion to dismiss right whoever has pushed you to file this motion to dismiss after you lose it as that person's trying to explain to you why you lost it re-examine while why you ever filed it in the first place Thanks for stopping by.